When it comes to this time of year, as soon as temperatures drop, if you're an avid cyclist, you're still going outside. We want to make sure that the cyclists that are committed to riding outside are completely covered to combat snow, rain, wind, cold temperatures. Otherwise, they're going to have a really unfun time in the saddle. My name's Amy Evans. I am the product manager for running and cycling apparel. We've engineered this complete winter collection for women and men, specifically to adapt to whatever conditions are happening. The biggest features that you really need to keep in mind when building the perfect bib tight is the interfaces and the connection between the rider and the bike. And the one that's the most important would be the pad to the saddle on top of the materialization, the seams and the placements. The pad stays in place, which is super important with all of our bibs. The protective materials go wherever the splash is coming up, the wind is coming at, or the rain is coming down. Men and women need very different things. We have different anatomies, different types of padding, different types of structures to work with. So focusing in on making sure that that is our first point of contact and comfort and really engineering from there to the rest of the bib. When it rains, you would think it comes straight down. But when you're riding, rain comes at all different angles. One thing that happens even on the clearest of days is road spray. These are things that are very real, so also getting the perception of comfort from athletes and our testers alike. What are they willing to give up? Where's the most important spots? So that you don't have to completely wear a bodysuit of weather protection. You can still move around properly when it's not completely raining outside. We build and engineer this to actually fit instead of just being a weather protective piece. And then we validate it and make it as perfect as we can by giving it to our athletes to really test it out and give us feedback. Every ride really is different. It's really a modular approach, building more of a system, a collection that really suits the type of ride you're doing that day, but also based on your comfort levels, what you might already have at home to find their perfect outfit for that ride.